The latest missiles were launched from the eastern port of Wonsan in North Korea. They flew about 250 kilometres before landing in the Sea of Japan. It's the second launch of short-range ballistic missiles by North Korea in less than a week. Pyongyang said last week's tests were a solemn warning to Seoul ahead of a planned annual military exercise between the US and South Korea. We are forced to continue to develop super-powerful weapon systems to eliminate the potential and direct threats to our national security from the South. Japanese Prime Minister Shinzo Abe played down the latest events, saying Japan would continue to negotiate with North Korea. We confirm that there is no impact on our national security. We will continue to cooperate with the United States and others. There was no immediate reaction from the US. Hours earlier, Secretary of State Mike Pompeo said he hoped to revive denuclearization talks with the North, despite Pyongyang test firing two missiles last week. We, we think that we started before too long. Uh, I, I'm very hopeful. Chairman Kim had said when uh, the two leaders met at the DMC that they started in a few weeks. It's taken a little bit longer than that. There's been a little bit of preliminary work to be done. Talks between Washington and Pyongyang have remained deadlocked since the summit in Vietnam in February ended without any agreement. I believe that this is a tremendous setback. U.S. President Donald Trump and North Korean leader Kim Jong-un agreed to resume talks after meeting in the demilitarized zone in June, but such talks have yet to take place.